I had a gentleman ask me what exactly I was carrying and was surprised that I could get it all in my bag. So I just thought it might be fun to show what I actually have in my bag and how I get it in there. So I have a pad, a three liter water filter, gravity filter, three liter water bag, two one liter water bags, two one liter water bottles, some camp shoes, my jacket, my backpack that's completely empty, some pants, and a shirt. I have to wear different clothes when I sleep at night, otherwise I freeze because I sweat so much and then it sticks to me and, and that causes you to be cold. Um, besides the socks that I'm wearing, I have another pair of socks to change out. If you can tell how stiff these socks are, socks can get pretty bad so switching them out is a very nice thing to do for your feet. I have a buff which I also use as a hat when I get cold at night. Some socks to keep me warm at night. I have my poncho. I have some tent poles. Some sunblock, eight tent stakes, some rubber bands, and a stake bag. I have my electronic bag. I have my watch charger cable. I have an octopus cable that has USB-C, um, Apple charger, and micro USB. And then I have another fast charging USB file transfer data cord. I have a battery bank, which I'm going to be adding another one on. Four batteries for my camera, plus the one that's in it. I'm going to be adding two more batteries to those. A camera battery charger. A GoPro battery. A micro cloth to cl clean my camera. Three cards for my camera, plus the one that's in my camera. And then I have a drone, so you have the drone the controller, three batteries, one which is in the drone right now, some extra propellers, a screwdriver, and some extra screws, all in a case. And then that bag is for the drone to keep it warm. And then I also have my tent fly, my tent, my sleeping bag, my pillow, my bag to keep my sleeping bag dry, my sleeping bag bag. And then I have my Thermarest and my Thermarest bag. And then over here we have my tripod, um, some wipes. I was going to sponge bath myself every night so I can stay warmer but that just didn't seem to work so I switched to wipes and that seems to work. My GPS inReach gum a bag for my camera to keep it dry if it's raining, a star wrench, a knife, my light, my money. You don't need to know how much money I have, so I didn't have it out. Some more sunblock because the other one's about to go out. My med kit, which has band-aids, some ibuprofen, neosporin, tape, um, and some blood stop just in case minnow gets cut. There's some blood stop in there. A comb. And then I have some balm. If you guys watched earlier, you would see that my skin is very sensitive and it dries out very fast. Um, so that's going to help me keep it that way. A couple of chapsticks. A marker. Some more ibuprofen. Some patches for my Thermarest just in case it pops. A pee rag. You might think it's gross, and it kind of is gross, but you wouldn't believe how much toilet paper I save, and it's really not that bad. A toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, and a bag to put that stuff in. And then I have some bug spray that I keep handy. Some business cards that's wearing away. Some more chapstick that I keep handy. My phone. A 360 GoPro. A corkscrew ball, which is a light ball that I can use to stretch out my muscles with. Toilet paper. Then I have my prayer tie stuff, so red, yellow, and white. 
Red is for bad behaviors, bad thoughts, karmas. Yellow is for fear and doubts. White is for cutting cords to people or things that you need to cut cords to. A meditation rock, a bag that I keep all that stuff in. And some prayer ties that I've already tied. And then another pea rag that I picked up along the way. So I'm going to drop off my old pea rag. Some bug spray that doesn't work. Some rope to tie my stuff up. Um, and then that is my stove. Case for my stove. Pot. Fuel. Lighter. Lid to my pot. Sponge. The sponge that I was going to use to bathe. But now I use it to clean my pot. And a bag for my pot. Then I have some bear spray. This bag has tobacco in it and I have a lighter on top of it. Tobacco is for putting in prayer ties as well as giving um, offerings to Mother Earth or to whomever I'm working with that day. And then I have some sage. Um, this, there's just one sage stick in there. And then I have a bag that I keep all that in. Sunglasses. And then a hat, and a medicine pouch, and some <coughs> prayer ties that I am using to invoke some of the laws. And I have a bunch of meditation and protection stones. And then I have my trekking poles. I have an ND filter and a polarizer in a case. My lens cap. Another wipe that I keep handy. And I'm using Alex's camera bag. Um, it just is easier for me to put all my stuff into there. And I can just lay it on the ground when I need to. My food bag. Um, my lunch with lunch meat. My bag for crackers with my crackers in it. Snacks. Breakfast. So I have a meal replacement shake in the morning. Um, I'm not trying to replace a meal, but it just gives me vitamins and I can just go. And then I also have some fruit. So in there, we have some dehydrated fruit that Alex dehydrated for me. And then some mango slices from the store. Honey roasted almonds. My spoon. Condiments. Can't, can't go without condiments. My trash bag. And then my dinners. There are four dinners there cold soap container with my tonight's dinner in it already prepared and then more dehydrated dinners in there we've got spaghetti and meat and then we've also got like a veggie stir fry kind of thing for nachos which is not nachos but it's still good and then tea I think that's everything it's a lot of stuff so I'll show you how I pack it and how I put it in my bag. But first we're gonna go over Minnow stuff too. So we have Minnow's backpack. We have two rolls of no chew tape stuff for her feet just in case her feet go bad. Poop bags for when we're in town. Some Musher's wax keeps her feet hydrated as well as keeps the bugs off her ears and stuff. Some Velcro. Minnow's also a camera dog. And we sometimes put the GoPro on her, her bowl with her breakfast she has not eaten. Some comfrey and other sticks for her just in case she needs it on any wounds. A handkerchief for when it gets hot, we soak it in water and it keeps her cool. Her collar and leash. Her bags of food, so each bag is a day's worth, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so right now she has five bags. So five days and two dry bags. And then some of the bags of food that we have extra and some that she already ate. And that's all of Minnow's stuff that she carried. Okay, so I'll be grabbing things and start packing them in my bag and then sometimes I'll move the camera. Um, so first we'll start with some clothes and sleeping bag and backpack. So we have my pillow, which I'm gonna fold up. And I'm going to put it in the pouch in my sleeping bag where the pillow is supposed to go. And then I am going to 
put it in my stuff sack. Some people believe that if you just stuff your, your sleeping bag in your backpack that that saves more room. I have tried both ways and I am 100% positive that this saves space. So we're going to stuff it in there. Now that I'm carrying a whole bunch of extra gear that most hikers wouldn't carry, um, I have to make room. So most people would be fine with just stuffing their sleeping bag in their bag and not carrying the extra weight of the stuff sack. But again, I need to make room for a little bit of extra gear. All right, and then we just cinch it and it's much smaller. I'll press in anything that kind of popped out, keeping it contained in there. So that's my sleeping bag. And then I get my backpack. And when you're packing your bag, you wanna to try to pack lightest items all the way up to heaviest items. So that's why we're starting with some of the lighter items. Um, and then I'm gonna put my bag that keeps my sleeping bag dry in there. So it's ready to go in, but first I start putting clothes around. So since the bag is going to sit like that in there and there's going to be some empty spaces in the bag, I fill those spaces with some clothes. So I'm putting some socks in, one in the front side, one in the back side, and then my buff is going to go with the thinner sock. And then we put the sleeping bag in there. It fits nice and snug in there. It's almost perfect size for it, but there's still some room on each side. So I get some more clothes. I get my pants and I fold them. Again, folding saves space. I have tried both ways and I am positive that this saves space. So that's going to go onto one side and then my shirt and that's going to go onto the other side. So now that we got everything filled out in there, we're then going to get my jacket and then we're going to press it in all around the sleeping bag. And that's all my clothes and all my sleeping bag stuff that takes up less than the sleeping bag space if you just had the sleeping bag. So then we're going to get the air out of that and then just cinch it up closed. So here's the tent. Again, some hikers say that if you just stuff it in your bag, it saves space. I have proven, I have tested this, and I have proven that it doesn't um, to myself. So I fold up the tent. All right, so the straps get folded in. And I'm trying to make it the size of the perimeter of my sleeping bag, or my backpack. And that way it can fit in there nicely. Um, but I'm also going to do it a little bit longer so I can stuff it in some corners. And that'll save space going up and that'll take space, fill up space around. As I do this, I'm trying to get all the air out <coughs> as I go. Air takes up space and it's hard to get it out once it's in there. We're just going to put it in my bag and these are going to fold into each side and then there's the tent in there and then we'll put my thermarest in. So I have the bag with my thermarest because you can connect it to the thermarest and fill up, fill it up with the air from the bag. Um, it's faster, it saves me some breaths and it's not that much extra weight, so I carry it that way. Also, it keeps my thermarest together. Um, so how I put my thermarest in is I just start folding it while I'm trying to get the air out as I go. Then I close the valve off, both of them. I fold it in half, put it in the bag, and this still is taking up less space then my whole sleeping bag would have taken up. So I got my thermo rest, my tent, my sleeping bag, and my clothes in there. Next will be the camera goodie bag. We have the bag, 
the three cords, the battery bank, remember I'm adding another one, my three memory cards for my camera, an extra wiping rag, four camera batteries, which I'm going to add two more, a charger for those batteries, and an extra GoPro battery. And there's really no specific way that I put that stuff in there. I just put it in there. Um, you kind of want to put your battery bank in first because it's tall, so it won't sit on stuff and make the bag taller. And since this is heavier, I'm going to wait until I get my other bag in there. And we'll move stuff over to that bag side. My hygiene bag. I've got my pee rag, which I'm going to leave with Alex when we go and see him. Marker, some extra chapsticks, some patches, ibuprofen, my toothbrush, and my balm. And that's going to go in there. So this is going to go on one side. And then my camera bag is going to go on the other side. And now that we have some extra spaces around, because those are weird objects, we're going to put my tying rope in there. Fill up some of that space. We're going to put my stove in there. So the stove will go in the case. Maybe. Close it and it protects it from getting smushed or anything like that. And that's going to go in there. And then we're going to put my pot in next. So we got my pot, our fuel, sponge, lighter, and top. And then that all goes in the bag. The bag broke the other day so I tied it so there's not as much space on it so it's a little bit tricky to get it in there. And then we just cinch that shut. Now the fuel canister in there keeps your pot from smashing in there so that's great. Um, so that's why I can put it in now. Next is going to be the drone. So again you just have the controller, the drone, the two batteries, the third batteries inside. This thing charges all three batteries at one time. There's extra propellers, a screwdriver, and some screws, and a hard case to keep it from getting smushed. And then I also put it in a bag to keep it dry in case it gets wet. So we get all the air out of that and that's going to live right in there. Um, next will be the food so we'll move the camera again. So now we've got the food bag. Um, I keep the snacks out that I'm going to have for the day. I usually have four fruit snacks, three granola bars. I usually only eat probably like two fruit snacks and maybe a granola bar. I tend to not eat my snacks but I should. But the rest of the snacks go in. And then since we've already had our breakfast, which I actually didn't because our fuel is out, um, then I put my breakfast in because it's already past breakfast time, so I don't need that stuff. So I put those in. The shake, the teas, and the, nut, the fruit. Um, and then next, I would put in, I would prepare my dinner for the, for the night. Um, so I already did that. I already has spaghetti and meat in there. This is going to sit on the outside of my bag so when it hits 4 o'clock I add some water to it. I give it two hours to at least at least two hours to soak it up. Turns it back into regular food um, and then once I get camp set up and everything like that um, then I can just heat it up and eat it. So that will stay out and I'll put the rest of my dinners in and my spoon. My trash bag will be next. And then the next meal that I'm going to be eating is lunch. So I'll put my lunch food in, um, in last. So that way it's more accessible. <coughs> now normally when it's the beginning of a section, this would be pretty filled with crackers or whatever. So I'd keep this out. And I'd also keep my food out, my dinners out um, for seven days. That way it doesn't get smushed and then I can kind of fit it in my bag wherever it needs to fit. Sometimes I put it outside in the mesh pad, mesh pocket, or I also sometimes just put it on the top and then close, close over it uh, depending on where the room is at. 
but um, it's the end of the section. So I'm just gonna throw it all in there. Nuts and condiments. Now we're gonna get all the air out of that. <coughs> this bag would normally probably be about that high if I had all the dinners and stuff in there. You want to at least roll your dry bags three times, that way it stays dry. And then it goes in there. Now you see that there's room for my food and my crackers and even extra room if I wanted to pack things a little bit differently. But that's the inside of the bag. Next we'll be moving to what goes into the top pouch here. All right, so what I put in the top pouch is things that I need accessible. Um, so sunscreen, med kit, headlamp. If it gets dark out, I have it easily accessible. I don't have to dig into my bag. Um, and then I have a comb that I don't need it to be easily accessible, but it's a nice spot to put it in. And then wipes um, in case, I don't know, I need to wipe my hands clean or something. I don't know. It, and it's also just an easier spot to put it in. I just put my wipes in there, my comb, my med kit, my money, dime fell out, my headlamp, and my extra sunscreen. And that's that spot. Um, next, we will put in what goes into this pouch for me. And that is my toilet paper. I need to keep it handy. My prayer ties, I need to keep that handy. And my corkscrew ball, when I take a break, I can roll out some muscles if I have to. So those will stay handy. Um, I'll put my ball in first. My toilet paper next. Just making sure I get the air out of everything. And then my prayer tie stuff. Um, there's a bunch of hemp cords already cut in there, pre-cut in there. I don't know if I told you guys that. But... We'll put in the fabric, my meditation rock, and my prayer ties that I've done already. And I keep these accessible because I tie a prayer tie whenever I need to. Whenever I have a bad thought or a fear, I put that energy into the prayer tie rather than holding on to it. So that goes in there nice and neat. Uh, next we'll do this pouch. My phone goes in there. My um, bug spray will go in there along with the cards and some chapstick. Um, and then we will do my left side pouch, which will go in there is my, I need to keep my bag for my camera accessible, so that will go in there. My Allen wrench for my tripod will go in there. My knife, some gum, and my GPS tracker. And then on my left side pouch is my snack pouch, I call it. So that's where I'll put all my snacks for the day. Easily accessible and I don't have to dig around for them. All right, and then next we will do this side top pouch. And that's just going to be the stakes for my tent and my, um, and my sunscreen that I keep accessible. So I have two rubber bands for my tent poles that I'll keep out for those. Um, otherwise, I'll just put my stakes in there. Same thing with my sunscreen, I'll just put that in there. That's easily accessible now. Um, next is the back. Um, and that's where the pad goes in. I usually use that pad for minnow. Well, minnow usually uses that pad to sleep on. Um, we usually don't take it out until it's camp time. Um, some hikers use a pad to sit on. We don't really do that, but we'll grab it. So here's the pad. It just folds up accordion style. And then it just fits in there nicely. Now, this pad does make my back sweat a lot, but it doesn't take up any extra space, and then it'll have somewhere to sleep, so I'm not complaining. Um, next, we'll put in the tent poles, and then we'll put in the tripod, but I'm using the tripod now, so I'll just tell you where it goes. But we'll fold those up. So I try to keep it, bend them. I try to break them where it stays the same length. And then I use rubber bands to keep it all together. 
You don't have to do this, but since I have a tripod that I want to always keep handy, I just want to make sure these stakes stay together so it's not in the way. So that goes in this pocket and it goes in the front because I don't need it anymore. And then the tripod will sit right here, easily accessible while I'm walking. I can pull it out um, and use it. So there's that. And then we'll do my P-Rag. That just sits on this strap, makes it accessible, ready to go. Um, next we'll do my poncho. Again, I fold everything because I think it saves space. So we'll, we'll fold it up and we'll put it in. So this poncho I really actually like. Um, it unzips here and then it makes a pouch. It makes, it makes a space where your backpack can sit in the poncho as well. It has a hood with the flap so it keeps it out of your face. It has things to cinch it around your face. It has a zip so you can get it in and out and then be nice and closed off from the rain when it is raining. Keeping in mind that it is supposed to keep you dry. Um, so if you're hiking up a hill or something or anything like that that causes you to sweat, you'll get sweaty inside because uh, it is made to keep you dry. So it does do that. Um, so we're just going to fold it up and always trying to get the air out. And that goes in the front mesh pocket. Next we'll do the tarp or the rain fly. Um, that I fold as well. So we'll fold that. I'll move the camera angle. Get all the ants off and then I fold it. And then there is a little metal wire in here. Um, and that is for a vent in the fly. So I can't quite roll it. And then we'll still try to keep getting the air out as we fold it. And that just goes in the mesh pouch as well. Next will be our water bags, our water. So I have some freshly filtered water. I'm just gonna fill up my water bottles now. I have a wide mouth bottle because that's easier to scoop with. And then I have a narrow mouth bottle. And I, I have that one because I can use it as a back flusher for my filter, water filter. And those are my water bottles. Then typically I would just empty this, but since I still got a little bit of time, I'm just gonna drink off of it until we're done here. Um, and then it would go in this mesh pack, mesh pouch as well. Um, so I call it cameling up. Um, I try to drink as much water in the morning as I can before I start hiking. That's why I have my, my meal replacement shake that has water in it. I have my tea that has water in it. Um, and then I wash out my real meal replacement shake bottle and I drink that water as well. And then I just try to drink as much water as I can. So we'll save that water until we're going to get ready to leave here. Otherwise, I have my gravity filter water filter bag. I'm just going to get out anything I have in there, including air. Um, sometimes it kind of sounds like a whoopee cushion, whoopee cushion. Maybe we can get it to do it for you. Oh, it didn't do it. Too wet, I guess. A little bit. So we get all the air and water out. We don't need we don't need the space being taken up and we don't need any of the extra weight even though it's just a little bit. And then that just goes in the mesh pouch. And then my other bags. Water bags go in there as well. I already gotten the air out of them, so I'm just going to put that in there. And then my two water bottles, doesn't matter which one which goes in the side here and then next my shoes these will go in here as well and then my food that I am gonna save for later goes in there so it's easily accessible and then I just close it up and then I add also my bug spray goes in here and that's my backpack. Everything else I keep on myself. So my watch just goes on me. 
And then I'm gonna put my polarizer filter on my camera when we're done here. But this lives in this bag along with an extra wipe um, and my lens cap. And then my camera goes in here. And then in this bag, I put my sage, my tobacco, and my lighter for the sage. I close that up, get the air out. And this lives in this pocket right here. And then all of my protection stones and my ties live in my medicine pouch. Cinch it up. And I just wear that. My hat goes on my head. My bear spray will go on my hip belt. So when I collapse it together, um, it'll just sit right here for me. My sunglasses I wear. My trekking poles I either carry and use them or I put them behind my back, in between my back and my backpack. Or if the trail's too narrow and I still don't want to hold them, I put them between my shoulder strap and they sit there. But that's everything and it all fits. There it goes. Now we're gonna do Minnow's bag. Minnow's bag is kinda a little bit more complicated because we have to keep the weight centered um, so it doesn't go to one side or the other as she's walking. So we have to figure out a weight ratio. <coughs> um, and right now, man, you ate your breakfast? She doesn't like to eat her breakfast. I don't know why. She's a little punk that way. Sometimes we give it as offerings. Sometimes she just sits on me and ruins what I'm doing. Here you go. Thank you. Alright, so we're going to put her chew wraps or no chew wraps in. One pouch. Um, her poop bag is going to go in the top pocket as long as well as well as her little sticks in case she gets any owies. And then we're gonna put her extra Ziploc baggies that she's used and backups in that pouch as well. And we'll zip that up closed. And now since she has three bags for one side and two bags for the other, I'm gonna put all her stuff in one and then fill it up with the two bags and then have nothing in her other one. Hopefully that evens out the weight ratio. So we'll put her collar and leash in there and her handkerchief and her musher's wax. And then we'll put her bags of food in. Minnow typically has food that is 600 calories per cup. Um, that way she can get as much calories as she can while she's out here. And then when we're in town, we fill her up on all the good stuff so she doesn't lose weight or she gains her weight back and stays healthy. So we'll also, this will also go in here as well, but since there's some food in there, she hasn't decided if she wants to eat it or not yet, we won't put it in there. And then we'll zip it up. And there's nothing that's gonna go into this pouch, so we'll just close that. And then we'll just put her three bags of food in this one. And I put the bag, dry bag in there first so it can take up the space. And then we put her food in there next. Fill that space. And then we could add more food in here if we needed to, but we don't have any more and we don't need to. And then we zip that up closed. And then we say, Min, come here. Backpack time. And then we put her bag on her. And then we ask her, try that out. It seems pretty balanced. Um, her left side might be a little bit more heavier. We still have her food bowl to put in there. Um, and then if that doesn't balance it out, I'll take some food out of one, one Ziploc baggie and add it to one of our extra baggies. And then we will balance it out that way. But that is how Min Min's bag is packed. Yeah! Good job! Good job, Min! Good job! You did it! You did it! You did! You good jobs! You did good jobs! Yeah, you good camera person! You good camera person! What a good actor! Yeah, okay, okay, 
Okay. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We also have a Patreon page at patreon.com slash mindbodysoulfilm.